All right, in this tutorial, we're going to be installing the FaceFX 2010 evaluation installer that we downloaded from the FaceFX.com website. Uh, we're going to introduce you to the various components of the installer, uh, like the license manager, FaceFX Studio Free, FaceFX Studio No Save, and the FaceFX and Ogre plugins. Uh, we're going to find all of our Autodesk products, Max, Maya, Motion Builder, and XSI, uh, the various installs that we have on this computer so that it, we install the plugins. Uh, into the appropriate plugin directories. The Ogre plugins are only for Max and Maya 32 bit and 64 bit versions, and uh, you can still export Ogre files using standard uh, XSI Ogre exporters, uh, but this installer only has uh, Max and Maya Ogre exporters. The XSI and Motion Builder directories are used in the FaceFX plugin install. And here's our license manager, which we're installing. Uh, if you haven't uh, run these before, it's highly recommended that you do, uh, but we won't in this case. And then we're going to start up uh, some of the programs that we just installed. Uh, you know, the first would be uh, the FaceFX Studio No Save. Now, the first time we open the program, it's going to um, open up the Slade sample character and play an animation just to get us started. It also tells us that a client spec has been created. Um, this is so that FaceFX Studio can find audio files. If you've got team members that are, uh, you know, one's on a C drive, one's on an E drive, they can uh, find relative file paths using the FaceFX client spec. Uh, so this is the FaceFX Studio No Save uh, program. It's just like FaceFX Studio Professional, except that you can't uh, save your work uh, or get the data out of FaceFX. But it's a great way for you to evaluate the program and our tutorials are going to be using it. Uh, we're also going to uh, show you the FaceFX no, uh, the FaceFX free version, which is a toned down version of FaceFX Studio. Uh, this does let you save files, but it only lets you do some basic character setup, like creating a face graph, uh, mapping, and it shows you uh, um, commands that were issued. And finally, the other part that was installed was the license manager uh, and this program we log into using the same credentials that we do uh, that we create from facefx.com uh, we create a new account on facefx.com and then we can log into the license manager uh, with that account and when we log into the license manager we're gonna see the plugins that we have installed on this computer and we installed all those uh, Autodesk products and if we were to purchase a license we could uh, import that license from here and then we would be able to check out the license. I already have a few licenses available uh, on my username. And so that's a brief introduction of the FaceFX 2010 evaluation installer and uh, the various components.